the following question is about moles and ratios and uh, what the question states is that you have 0 0.144 grams of an aluminium compound which is X so the mass of this com uh, aluminium compound X is given and you're supposed to uh, find what X is now you're given uh, four options uh, A, B, C and D so A X could be either one of these uh, compounds and he's saying that it reacts with an excess of water so this X substance X which is 0 0.144 grams is reacting with uh, excess of water so it's reacting with excess water which is H2O and uh, it's uh, producing a gas uh, and this gas burns completely in O2 so this reacts with H2O excess H2O produces a gas and this gas burns readily completely in O2 so it re it's reacting with O2 and it's producing uh, uh, it's producing completely with O2 and reacts to form H2O and CO2 so it ends up producing H2O and CO2 which is going to be uh, and he's given you the volume of CO2 which is 72 cm cube so we don't know exactly what what is the reaction that's happening but what you can uh, the only information that's given is about CO2 and about X. X reacts with water, produces a gas, which then burns in oxygen and produces water again. And uh, CO2 gas is produced and the volume of CO2 is given and the mass of X is given. Now, this middle part is basically, uh, it's irrelevant in the question because no information is given about this part. No masses, etc. is given. Uh, but what you can, uh, you can see is, uh, we would be solving this question using a trial and error method. So I'm going to pick option A first and see whether uh, whether option A is correct. So in option A, what I'm going to do is uh, option A, X is going to be Al2 C3. And the mass of X is given, so that's 0.144 gram. Now, if you look at the description of the reactions that are happening, what you would notice is there is no place in between where carbon is being added. So the carbon in the carbon dioxide, all of it is coming from this compound, which is X. So if you have Al2C3, it's going to react with excess water. A gas will be produced, which is going to react with O2, and then it's going to produce CO2. So I'm going to skip the middle part. And what I'm going to do is it's going to produce uh, Al2C3 is going to produce CO2. Since all the carbon is coming from this compound X, so there are three carbons over here. So uh, it, three CO2 molecules are going to be produced in this reaction. So understand this part, all the CO2 is coming from uh, the carbon that is in Al2C3. So if there are three carbons, then at the end of the day, three CO2 molecules would be produced. So I've taken option A. I'm trying to uh, do this question using a trial and error method. So if it's option A, the ratio of Al2C3 compound X and CO2 is going to be one ratio three. So if you have 0 0.144 grams, what the question states is that 72 cm cube of carbon dioxide gas should be produced. So if based on this information, this is correct, then option A would be the correct option. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the moles of Al2C3. Moles would be mass, which is 0 0.144 grams divided by the by the molar mass, which is going to be aluminium, the two aluminium, so that's 27 into 2. Plus I have uh, uh, three carbon, so that's 12 into 3. So using my calculator to solve this, uh, 0 0.144 divided by 27 into 2 is 54, and 12 into 3 is 36. Uh, it's going to give me 0. Uh, 0, 0, 0.0016 moles. So that's the amount of moles of aluminium uh, Al2C3. Now one compound produces 3 CO2. So the ratio uh, is 1 mole produces 3 moles of CO2. So 0 0.0016 is going to produce 3 times as many moles. So the amount of moles of CO2 that would be produced are going to be 0 0.0016 moles multiplied by 3. So it's going to be 0.00 for eight moles. So I figured out uh, that theoretically the amount of moles of CO2 that would be produced are going to be 0 0.0048 moles. Now I'm going to calculate the volume of CO2 gas that would be produced by these many moles. So it's going to be uh, uh, moles of CO2, 0 0.0048 
multiplied by the molar volume of this uh, one mole of gas which is going to be 24 decimeter cube so the answer that I'm going to get using my calculator it's going to be uh, multiplying it by 24 it gives me 0 0.1152 dm cube so clearly this is not the answer that we were expecting we the question gave us that 72 cm cube of co2 was being produced but over here we are getting when we did the calculation we're getting 0 0.1152 dm cube of co2 hence this is probably not the correct option So we are now going to try the second option which is AL3 and uh, C4. So trying that option, uh, let's try option number B, A is definitely not correct. So option B, I have the compound now is AL3 C4 and this AL3 C4 is going to produce uh, the amount of carbon dioxide that it would eventually produce is for every one because there are four carbons in this compound so at the end of the day four carbon dioxide molecules would be produced because uh, you need to balance the carbons um, so again you have 0 0.144 grams of this compound and I'm going to try and find the moles so the moles uh, of AL3C4 are going to be mass divided by the molar mass which is going to be there are three aluminiums now so that's 27 times 3 plus that's 12 times 4 so I'm going to use my calculator to uh, moles divided mass divided by molar mass so the value that I'm going to get is 0.144 divided by it's going to be 27 times 3 plus 12 into 4 is 48 so using my calculator the value that I'm going to get is going to be it's going to be 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2 moles rounded to three significant figures and moving on to the next part I know that one compound X produces four CO2 molecules so the ratio is one ratio of, so the amount of moles of CO2 that would be produced would be four times as many so the moles of CO2 are going to be 0 0.00112 moles multiplied by four so that's the amount of moles of CO2 that would be produce I'm going to multiply the moles by 4 and that would give me that would be equal to 0 0.00447 moles so that's the amount of moles of CO2 that will be produced uh, by 0 0.144 grams of AL3C4 and then I need to find the volume of CO2 gas volume of gas would be the moles of gas 0 0.00447 multiplied by the molar volume of the gas which is going to be 24 decimeter cube now multiplying my previous answer by 24 gives me it gives me point uh, 0 0.107 dm cube which is clearly not 72 cm cube which the question states so this is also not going to be the correct option so we will now be moving to uh, the third option which is which is going to be AL4C3 so moving to this option AL4C3 let's uh, let's uh, solve for option number 3 which is option AL4C3 so option C AL4C3 and uh, the, it has 3 carbon so at the end of the day it's going to produce uh, 3 CO2 molecules to balance out the carbons and again I have 0 0.144 grams of AL4C3 so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the moles of AL4C3 which are going to be uh, moles divided by, by the molar mass it's going to be 27 times 4 plus 12 times 3 and solving this on my calculator so it's uh, 0.144 divided by 27 times 4 plus 12 times 3 and the answer that I'm getting is 0 0.001 moles 0 0.001 mole and according to the ratio one compound X produces 3 CO2 molecules so it's one ratio 3 
So the amount of CO2 that would be produced is going to be 0 0.001 moles multiplied by 3 which is going to be equal to uh, 0 0.003 moles and we need to find the volume of this gas now so we have uh, we have moles uh, volume is moles multiplied by the molar volume so 0 0.003 moles and the molar volume for uh, one mole of gas is uh, 24 decimeter cube and the answer that I'm going to get is going to be 0 0.072 dm cube and uh, as discussed earlier the question stated that you were getting 72 cm cube which is exactly the same so this uh, this option C fits exactly with uh, what the information that uh, that was given in the question so option c is going to be the correct option 0.144 grams is going to eventually produce 72 cm cube so this option is going to be your correct option so uh, let's circle option c